We are talking about California and the rains that have recently hit, and we are going to go right out and show you what has fallen thus far, and we'll be looking at the long range. So thus far, if we were scoot in by Lake Oroville, the lake that I love to cover is 1.98 inches in the last 72 hours. So the rain's really coming down, which is probably snow because this is mountain area. Over here by Tahoe, they received a good 1.63. We go down to Grass Valley. Valley, you got 1.63 inches. You get the gist. We want to go up by Lake Trinity and see what has fallen thus far. Up by Trinity, they got 1.0 inches. And over by Lake Shasta, over here, they received 1.97 inches. So this is good news. One of my viewers last night asked me how much rain it would take to bring California completely out of the drought. And the recent numbers that I have seen would be 22 inches to bring California back out of drought as of recent. So you have a very long way to go we are talking an inch and a half thus far and you need 22 inches now the season's young but unfortunately this is about the norm you get two three storms a year and that is not a very good situation whatsoever but we will take the rain we got it went all the way down to los angeles even got a little bit on the action which they rarely do they got 0 0.5 santa barbara 0 0.89 my friends over in bakersfield hello you guys received a 0 0.14 inches in the last 24 hours and along the coast over by San Jose you received 0 0.88 Sierra Mountain Range received a nice amount as you can see that the mountains always squeeze out all the moisture 2.05 Carson City even got in on the action they received 0 0.8 and we go over here to Colorado see what has fallen thus far over there a little bit 0 0.7 this is in dire situation I'll be talking about a video tomorrow I'm thinking I'm planning on making tomorrow afternoon about Lake Mead and all that. So be staying tuned for that. Now we're going to go out to windy.com and check out what is going on there. As we roll out to windy.com, you can see the next 24 hours. California is going to be wet. Now it's not going to be extremely wet in the next 24 hours, but it's going to be wet. Most of the United States is going to be fairly dry with the exception of Kentucky and all this area over here. A little bit over here in Phoenix is going to receive precipitations, but my friends over at Lake Havasu City, not so much. And now we scoot down. You can see that Yuba City, the majority of it's going to be from Bakersfield all the way up to Chico. That's where the majority of this precipitation is going to fall in the next 24 hours. So we go the next three days. So it's going to be a wet Saturday for you, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes sometimes. We go the next three days and this thing really lights up. And you can see that the Sierra Mountain Range is squeezing all the moisture out like it always does. This is why Nevada is generally dry. More times than not, a little bit does fall beyond that. But these Sierra mountain range here just always constantly squeezes all the moisture out because it's on the west side of the Sierra. So we go over to our friends at South Lake Tahoe in the next three days. You're going to get 1.6 and our friends in Truckee up there, you're going to get 1.78. We go to Lake Oroville. You can see Oroville itself 2.71 and then up here almost four inches. Now you have to remember that one and a half inches fell in this general area. So you had another four inches that that's five and a half inches. That's still a deficit it to bring it out of a drought 17 inches so you still need 17 inches to be bring california to completely out of drought and this is statewide but the majority of the precipitation falls up here in the mountains so and we need the central valley to be wet for it to bring out a drought and the central valley is in here and they're just not receiving that much precipitation 1.3 0 0.6 you go the next 10 days 10 days lake oroville's watershed is going to get a lot so it will come up that's six inches from your 22 inches of precipitation that you need so you'll still need a good 16 inches of rain for it to be completely out of drought is it impossible no we know this because this is all new snow i haven't showed you this part yet you're talking about 35 inches of snow in the next 10 days it's a lot so here we are 3.33 inches of snow in the next 10 days we come down here to east quincy you get 2.9 we go down to Truckee down here and and you get 16.6 Tahoe, 18.2 South Lake Tahoe, 20. Let's go check the snow depth out and see what's going on. So far, you got a decent snow amount thus far, 30 inches. This was almost bleak just a couple of weeks ago. So this has come up quite a bit. 33 and then 29 
We come up to Chester, 15.5 Caribou, 18, Paradise has none, Oroville has none, Reno over here has 3.9, Bear Valley over here, it has 35.3, Mammoth Lakes down here, 34, Yosemite, it's about a normal average snowpack, we'll look, we'll look at the snow report here in a minute and see what's going on there. So right now, for normal for this date, the Northern Sierra Trinity is 124%. Now, keep in mind, it's only 14% of April's date. So you see, that's the one you got to keep an eye on because that's the one that matters the most. The South Central Sierra is always seems to have more than anybody. For whatever reason, it, it always seems like the North always gets the least. The South gets the most for whatever reason. The Central is usually not too far behind the South, but we'll be watching that. 18% for your normal average at least the last couple of years anyway. So you got 14%, 124% for today, 14% for April 1st. That's the date we got to keep an eye on. We want that to be 80 plus come April 1st, if not more. We definitely would prefer 100, but we'll take the 14% to start with. It's 124 for this date, as I just showed you those. 18% for April 1st, 140 for this normal date, 21%, 175. So that's what we got going on there. Let's go check out inflows, outflows, for Lake Oroville. Here we are at Lake Oroville and you can see that the reservoir is only at 27% of capacity and your current level 658.48. For whatever reason the inflows are not being shown but at Lake Shasta your inflows are 3,094 and your outflows are 2,731 so it's on the increase. Lake Shasta is also 918.29 and Trinity's your inflows are 198 your outflows are 255. Reservoir levels 2,189.71. Storage capacity 22%. This is the one I look at the most. 22% of capacity there. 31 at Lake Shasta, Lake Oroville. 27. We go down to Folsom. 25. Your inflows are currently 1,190. Your outflows are 1,361. 25% of capacity. And the very last stop, we'll go over and check the graph here at Lake Oroville. You can see that the level 658.4. 4-7, December 3rd, 2022, at 6 a.m. The level is 241.53 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday. This thing is starting to fall. You can see that the, the storm that came through last year came a couple days later, December 14th. Today's the 3rd. So you can see that it has slowed. It was dropping quite a bit in the last video. I think it was 0 0.3. So they're still letting out a lot of water at this current time. Plus it's snow, mainly the that's falling so a lot of this will have to wait until it melts we'll see what happens there uh, 0 0.3 in the last 24 hours we will check that again here in a couple of days and see where that stands and see how much more precipitation will be coming to california you guys have a blessed day it is my birthday i'm going to take the rest of the day off i will try to be back tomorrow i'm planning on making a video about lake mead and the dire situation that could potentially be coming down the pike as i have talked about a million times thank you guys for stopping by and we will see you on the the next one. God bless.